What's up everybody? In this video, I do want to share a couple of things that were sent my way by friends. Before I get to that though, I do want to share a couple of items that I ordered for myself with you real quick. Now, if you're familiar with the company Kid Robot, then you know that one of their most popular collectibles are dunnies. They're these little figures that are shaped like rabbits, basically, like humanized rabbits. And um, they do a lot of different waves of them, a lot of different sets that have these different themes to them. And I really like the odd one set, which is based around Halloween, pretty much. So I did order these two characters here that look very similar. Um, one, of course, is a male character there. And of course, like I said, you see the bunny ears there. I like the paint job on the face as well and the t-shirt that he's wearing. And then, of course, with the female version here, she's got the big eyelashes going on to let you know that's the female version there. So, yeah, I, I like some of the other ones in this set as well, but I mainly wanted to get these two because I really like the mask that they come with. So because obviously they're not human, you can tell that they're kind of ghoulish looking. They actually come with these human masks. You know so they can disguise themselves as regular people and i think that is pretty clever and these masks actually can be put onto the figures there so that is what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to put the mask on each one of these let me show you them again without the mask there and i kind of have to do it one at a time because the camera's trying to focus on both at one time that doesn't quite work out but yeah i'm going to actually put the mask on and they come with little um bags as well i'll see if i can get these into their hands they actually come with little trick-or-treat bags as well so yeah let me go ahead and put these together for you all the mask fits on pretty snugly um i feel like the mask on the female version um actually fits a little bit better but this one is pretty good to go in <laughs> that big old grin there is pretty funny it's like they're trying so hard to look normal that they went with these masks that are just actually creepy in their own separate way um you notice here also that the trick-or-treat bag there actually has blood gushing out the backside of it which is pretty creepy there as well and then let's take a look at the female dunny here and like i said her mask fit on very nicely into place and it has the same bag of course with the blood gushing out the back of it so yeah i really do like these you know i'm glad i finally had these um i may look into some more from that set but not really stressing it so much because these like i said these were the main two that i wanted so i will sit these along with my horror collection definitely let me know what you think about these dunnies the first pop that i ordered for myself here is from the funko shop and we actually have tj this is the variant of tj which looks very cool i will get this out of box so we can take a closer look at it very happy with this one glad i was able to get this one this one did actually end up selling out very cool figure i did not get the original variant i actually wasn't too um crazy about the original variant but that one with that color scheme i think it looks so much better had to go for that one next up here we have spider-man with the spider-mobile which um my local walgreens usually they actually get the marvels figures you know but the marvel figures but i never actually saw this one come around so yeah i ended up ordering this one online and i'm glad that i finally had this in my collection as well it's just sort of a nostalgic type of thing there on the back it just says collect them all there in the word bubble seems like they could have put something else there something more you know spider-man focused that would have been nice but yeah glad to have that finally in my collection as well it's been sitting on my sort of wish list i guess you could say for a good while and then I ordered the Jack Nicholson Joker the first time I got the common and then I ordered another one with a, um, a different company and this time I got the chase. So this one I'm actually going to leave in the box. As a matter of fact, I'm going to end up putting this one in a protector and sending it along with the other, um, you know, Batman movie related figures. But yeah, very happy that I was able to get the chase. So now I don't have to stress over trying to track it down and maybe possibly paying, you know, a higher price for it. That is definitely a relief, you know, basically to go ahead and get this figure. I wasn't sure at first if I was going to go for this pop or not. I'm really glad I did just because it does look so cool up close. The coloring is just phenomenal. You know, like I said, um, I also like how the splotches here on the face and everything, they, they look very natural. They don't look so manufactured, which is a good thing. That's the way that this should be. And of course, the way the white fades into the green with his hair is awesome. The bottle actually has that same green coloring to it, which is pretty cool. It's got that design around the big old sombrero there. Pretty awesome. See the gun belt there. He actually has his tie up under there. It's kind of tough to see, but he does have the tie going on. And like I said, you know, the bullet belt there and the Freddy Funko crown on the belt is sharp. The shoes are sharp there. The silver tips. Yeah, this 
is all around a great figure and as I was taking mine out of box I realized mine has a little extra feature yeah so I guess mine is like a maraca too because it has a little loose piece in there that happens sometimes with uh, you know pop vinyl so that happened with this one and yeah I'm just gonna say it's my maraca TJ I'm sure somebody will let me know if this uh, spider mobile was actually in the comics or not I feel like it may have been but I'm familiar with it mainly just because of seeing the spider-man toys back in the day I don't think I really had spider-man toys necessarily but I would see you know the advertisements for them and I remember seeing you know the spider buggy and um, or a spider mobile and I think there was also a helicopter it seems like every superhero when it comes to toys ends up with the helicopter every major hero you know so yeah I would see things like that and um, yeah so that's where I get the nostalgia from just just remember the advertisements for all those different spider-man products but like I said if this was actually in a comic let me know about that but I, I just like the look of it and it's kind of funny too because when it comes down to it Spider-Man doesn't really need a vehicle unless he's somewhere where there's absolutely no tall structures and even then he could probably still work his way around just fine but yeah it's just it's funny to me it's just it's pretty cool looking kind of cheesy but I really do like it especially like the big tires on it there as well so definitely let me know what you think about this one if this is something you have in your collection or do you have any recent um, pop rides in your collection now we are getting into the friend mail a couple of things that were sent my way I'm actually gonna start off here with something that was sent to me by Kat D and the way that she chose this really she didn't choose it herself what she did is she said she brought up a couple of images I guess on a website on her um, iPad I guess or whatever it was on her tablet basically and she let her baby son choose you know whatever he pointed to that's what she decided to send my way they were all Harley Quinn items and what baby J decided to go with <laughs> is this stainless steel tumbler and of course Harley Quinn on there like I said and I like that she's actually holding the bomb there as a matter of fact I have this poster I actually have this poster um, which is very cool you know that kind of matches up with that and it has the ha ha ha's going on all around it and it just looks really slick you know so I actually don't own a tumbler so this will come in very handy of course it'll definitely remind me to make sure that I drink plenty of water so yeah thank you Cat D and thank you baby J as well if you have been watching my unboxing videos regularly then you may have heard me mention Nicole previously Nicole is a viewer that just you know is nice enough to send things my way every once in a while totally does not have to do it but I definitely appreciate it I knew that she was um, sending one item my way I expected that but then she put in another surprise as well and that item is here the Nindoroid of Sombra from Overwatch now I don't actually play Overwatch because I was kind of late to the party so I just didn't really get into it that game I know you have to be a team player you got to be familiar with the different roles and all of that so I decided not to really get into the game but I do like the character designs and this character looks very cool especially with the coloring that they put on her and it translates very well to this figure and if you're not familiar with Nindoroids, these little figures here are highly posable. They have, um, you know, they come with a lot of little different items, so you can pose them in different ways. Um, I see they got Tracer as well. I don't know what's going on with that right there. If that's actually part of the figure or something else, I don't know. Maybe somebody can explain that. What's going on right there? But um, yeah, Sombra, like I said, she has a really nice design to her, and I'm, I would imagine there's even more characters from Overwatch of the Nindoroids. Keep your eyes open for these at Target because. I know Nindoroids can be a little bit pricey because they are um, from overseas, you know, they're um, imported, but sometimes you will see good deals on these at places like Target and maybe even like local comic book shops and other places. So basically, if you're interested in Nindoroids, make sure you compare prices. You can find some, you know, at a really good deal. And the other item that Nicole sent here is, this is a massive heavy item that is really awesome. We have here Red Hulk. Okay, of course, this is the Marvel Legend of Red Hulk. And just look at that head sculpt there. The anger on his face, you know, the detail, the, you know, the expression and all that. Like, the yellow eyes, that is just so cool. And like I said, this is a pretty heavy Marvel Legend there. He has the replaceable hands that are massive as well. He's got the fist there for, you know, his left arm. Um, Yeah, that that's just pretty awesome. So... Yeah, I didn't know if I was going to be able to track this down, and really, I didn't track it down. It's thanks to Nicole that, you know, she found this and was able to send it 
my way this is very cool i don't um, pick up a lot of marvel legends you know there are some that catch my attention and this is one of them and uh, yeah i'm very happy to have this in my collection so thank you so much for this nicole um i'm leaving this in the box for now i may actually take this out eventually and figure out where i'm going to uh, place it at as a matter of fact i have enough hulk items now to actually put a hulk shelf together so maybe that's something i will do in the near future and this would definitely have to be part of it very cool figure here and nicole of course is very awesome for finding this and sending it my way finally here from maui sean we have a figure that he, he said he was going to send this uh my way a while back and um it took him a while to send it which i don't mind he kind of apologized about that i don't mind at all i mean this was something that he sent out of kindness so i would never complain about that i'm just appreciative that he was so kind to send this my way because this is a figure i wasn't able to track down myself and um even though it's been out for a good while people still resell it at kind of a high price so maui sean thank you so much for being kind enough to send this awesome figure my way and i don't think funko even makes these figures anymore so from the 8-bit line we have the 8-bit predator and this is the glow in the dark chase now like i said i was not able to actually track this down myself you see it's also a gamestop exclusive so maui sean again i'm very appreciative that you sent this my way and i'll show you all the image as well that this has probably the best glow that i've ever seen on a funko pop i mean i'm not exaggerating the glow is so bright especially in person it's just very sharp i'm not saying it's the most creative glow because it's basically just the whole body that glows but still it is so bright it just looks really awesome i definitely um am very appreciative of this figure and it's just it's just awesome and like i said i really don't think funko is doing um the 8-bit figures anymore i haven't seen any produced in a good while so seems like they've kind of moved on from those and funko will do that you know every year they introduce a couple new products and some remain some don't you know uh, most of them are short-lived but yeah this is one that i was hoping to get eventually and i'm very glad you know very appreciative to have it now in my collection cat d nicole and maui sean again thank you so much for your kindness it is very much appreciated and uh you know if you're ever in need of something you need some help with something definitely reach out to me of course um I do want to hear from you all. Which, what do you think about the items that I received here? Do you have any of these in your collection or are trying to get any of these into your collection? Just let me know what you think about these in general, especially the 8-bit pops. I know some people had different feelings on those. Let me know if you actually missed the 8-bit pops. Do you hope to see more? Or if you have any in your collection, let me know about that. Um, and any of these other products as well. Do you have some Dunnies or Nendoroids or Marvel Legends that you picked up recently? Just let me know what's going on with you in terms of collecting. And then also, um, of course, on my channel, I did pass the 40,000 subscriber milestone. Thanks to the support, of course, of you all, um, especially those of you that take the time to check out this type of content. Um, that is very much appreciated. And I, I said, you know, once we got past that milestone that I would talk about the 40,000 um, subscriber giveaway. And I'm actually going to have the details on the screen here in a moment. Please make sure that you read all of those details so that you can enter properly um and i'm just gonna leave it at that pretty much like i said you know just read it and you'll be good to go i do look forward to your responses in the comments i will be checking those out again thank you all so much for checking out this content and thank you to my friends for sending these my item, you know items my way very much appreciate it and i will talk to you all again real soon